Hello and a warm welcome to this series of videos on project management certification training based on the sixth edition of the PM Boc guide. I am a project manager who has worked in the manufacturing and IT domain and my attempt is here to give you a clear understanding of the various concepts that are covered in the project management certification examination so that you can pass this exam on your first attempt. This first video is going to touch upon the definitions on project management. So first, what is a project? A project is a temporary endeavor undertaken to create a unique service product or result. Now the words that we have to emphasize here are temporary and unique. In this sense, a project is different from an operational or a process work in that it is not something which is repetitive and monotonous. A project comes to an end when, with either success or failure. Success when the deliverables are complete and the customer is satisfied with the end result, or it can be terminated due to various reasons, for example, lack of resources, or for example, the sponsor decides to terminate the project. A project comes about due to various reasons. For example, the company has a need or the stakeholders request for a project or there are regulatory demands with which cause a project to be initiated. So project can have benefits both are both tangible and intangible. Tangible, which we can see, for example, a new product has been manufactured and intangible benefits, the brand value of the company goes up, the share value goes up, the stakeholders are satisfied. So this is the PM Bok definition of a project. A program now is a group of related projects which are managed in a coordinated manner and the advantage is that managing them thus as a group is better than managing them individually. A portfolio, on the other hand, is a collection of projects, programs, and subsidiary portfolios and operations managed as a group to achieve strategic objectives. The area of project management deals with the application of knowledge, skills, tools, and techniques to project activities to meet the different requirements of the project. The scope of a project refers to the project's boundaries. It determines what work will be undertaken during the life cycle of the project. Now, the identification of the scope is very important because demands from customers change from time to time and the scope is actually progressively elaborated during the during the life cycle of the project so to avoid a lot of changes which cause scope creep initially these are ironed out with the stakeholders so that the scope is clear to all the parties concerned a document issued by the project initiator or sponsor that formally authorizes the existence of a project and provides a project manager with the authority to apply resources to activities is called the project charter. A person who is authorized by the organization to direct the team and ensure accountability for the objectives of the project is the project manager. A sponsor, on the other hand, is a person who provides resources and support for the project and is accountable for the success of the project. In a project, there are various stakeholders. Some of them can be team members, they can be government agencies, they can be regulatory authorities, or 
just anybody who is directly or indirectly impacted by this project. After we have gone through all these definitions, here is a question for you. Which of the following is not true? A. Every project is unique. B. A project gives some output. C. Projects are not repetitive. And D. Car manufacturing is an example of a project. You can send us your answer in the comments. If you like this video, please subscribe to this videos. And if you have any questions, you can contact me at budsacademy16 at gmail.com. You may also wish to visit our website. We will come out with a series of videos which will attempt to clear your understanding on project management and help you to pass this exam on the first attempt. Thank you very much.